Hi, I'm Jim Holly with SupercrossOnline.com, and the man standing next to me is Team Yamaha factory rider, Josh Hill. Here it is, man. You're stepping up. You're, you're going to the big bike class now. Yeah, I just uh, somehow it ended up happening, and everything came together, and kind of excited about it. You had some good performances in the outdoors there, and uh, Keith McCarty you went back to him and says, "Look, I can't ride that lights bike anymore, man. I, I, I got to jump on the big bike." Yeah, I just I just feel a lot more comfortable on it, and I I think last year we struggled a lot with it, and then the, this year I just I've been having so much more fun on the 450, and just have so much more confidence on it. Well, it's the 08 championship now. It starts here A1 in a couple of days. Uh, it looks like there might be a little bit of rain coming to Anaheim, and uh, I know you're from the Pacific Northwest. You like the mud. I don't really like it. I just uh, know well, how. You grew to, up in it, though. I, I guess I know how to ride it pretty good from my dad just making me ride it when I was a little kid, even when I really didn't want to. So, uh, you know, that uh, hopefully that'll play into my favor. You set the bike up differently for the mud. I mean, you know, what what do you have to do differently, or or yourself? I mean, your gear. Um, I just try to hang out and not be in the rain for as long as I can, then go up to the line and. I don't know, I used to always do my goggles up, but I think I got a goggle guy now, so maybe I'll have to hang out with him and make sure he does it right. But uh, other than that, not really anything. Well, you're probably you know, thanking God right now that you're on a bigger bike, because if it is muddy, you'd like that extra horsepower. Yeah, for sure. I'd uh, really be struggling if I was on a little bike. You know, I'm a little bit bigger of a guy than most of them, so it's going to help out. Maybe, I'll, maybe the traction will come, into, come in handy. What are your goals for the uh, 08 season? What are you going to be happy with at the end of the season, midway through? What are you going to be happy with when you leave Anaheim going to Phoenix? Um, you know, in the mud, it's going to be hard to say what I'm going to be happy with. If I come out in the top five, I'll be really happy in the mud. You know, that'll be a good, solid weekend. But mostly, I'm just looking for podiums. I, uh, I've been putting in a lot of work over, this, over the off season. It's really all I've been doing is just working on... Uh, being one of the front runners. That's all I've been doing. Well, for the people listening to this clip, I mean, you know, everybody always says I've been putting in a lot of work. What, what type of work? You know, like, I said, what, what does he mean he's been putting in work? Um, all I've been doing is really just, I've been just on a schedule. You know, last year I put in the work, but I didn't have the, the schedule. I didn't have the, the program. This year I got a full-time live-in trainer. His name is Pete Sannon. He's just a guy from Oregon. He lives with me and just keeps me on track. I mean, I'm in the gym every day. I'm doing motos every day and just, just getting a lot of rest, too. Well, give us a scenario. Let's say like last Wednesday, say a week ago Wednesday, what did you do briefly? What, what time do you get up? You get up at 5 in the morning and start running, or are you sleeping in until 8? What are you doing? Uh, last Wednesday, wasn't it Christmas last week? Uh, well, I that, guess that's why I was asking. Oh, actually, on last Wednesday, I was on a flight home at 1 in the morning from, from my house Christmas night, and then, you know, just recovered from that. But just really, I've just been uh, staying on schedule, making sure I get up in the morning at a decent time, you know, be out at the track at an early, early time. And then just uh, go straight to the gym and then just pretty much just make sure the bike's good and rest. Really just trying to live my life revolving around motocross. Now, now you hear about that, you know, getting up, running, you know, be, being on a schedule. But it's also diet. I mean, you're not hanging out at McDonald's, right? Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I, I, might have, I did that a little bit too much last year. I just, uh, my diet wasn't as good. I wasn't as healthy. This year I feel uh, just healthy. I just feel better. feel better about myself, too, going into the season. Well, I want to wish you the best of luck. And uh, for you guys listening in... Uh, Hey, he can do a top five. I know it. <laughs> Hope so.